With fewer than 10,000 people locked up, Massachusetts has one of the lowest incarceration rates in the country. But when it comes to people of color, the numbers outpace population in our Boston Next series. WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez visits the Suffolk County House of Corrections and meets with the sheriff who's trying to change that. Right now, the states are still more punitive than rehabilitative. That said, the pendulum is swinging towards rehabilitation. Helping move the needle is Suffolk County Sheriff Stephen Tompkins. Just ask his inmates. I leave Wednesday. Days ahead of his release from prison, we met Richard Lane. The 21-year-old has got a new lease on life. I was accepted to college, full ride. The Roxbury native is off to Dean College in the fall and plans to study psychology. He says his assault and battery conviction will be behind him because of how he spent his time on the inside. I wouldn't have gotten into college or I wouldn't have been able to get a full ride to college if it wasn't for the Peace Unit. The Peace Unit is one of four core rehabilitation programs at the Suffolk County House of Corrections. It places 18 to 25 year old inmates in spaces outside of the general population lets them take part in mental health programs and pairs them with older inmates. Sheldon Aljo has been Lane's mentor. If you can't accept where you, where you at, you can't learn. You will never learn to, um, to make a difference or change. There's also a detox unit, employee training, and a women's program. I'm in crew right now, which is a re-entry program. It helps you get plugged in with jobs. The person that I used to be had no fear, and now I, I look at things differently. Was any of this in place when, before you were here? None of this was in place before I was here. Tompkins took over the Bradston Street complex in 2013. It currently houses close to 900 inmates. Nearly half are black. More than 20% are Latino. 65% of my population is black or brown. This is in a commonwealth where that same demographic is 18%. How do you get 65% out of 18%? You get that out of a broken system. Something's wrong. The Spanish Harlem native says he wants to interrupt that cycle and offers inmates an opportunity to rehabilitate. For him, the undertaking is personal. And I can't recount how many nights I actually picked my mother up to put her in bed because she'd fallen asleep on the sofa, you know, after downing a six pack or whatever it was that she consumed. And so fast forward to what I do now, I understand. I get it. Hey, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Tompkins says the cash bail structure has morphed into a wealth-based system, keeping people with mental health and substance abuse issues out of treatment and inside prisons. It's for black and brown and poor, because there are a lot of poor white people. So if you don't have the money to be able to get good legal defense, chances are, depending upon the severity of your crime, you're going to jail, you see. And so if I can be an interrupter in that cycle, then that works for me. Right now, each unit holds as many as two dozen inmates at a time, but more funding can increase the quality of care. The Peace Unit is modeled after the TRUE program in Connecticut, and its potential is an anti-recidivism rate as low as 2%. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.